All right, so now we have the updated numbers. We've got a, a huge improvement. We have several keywords that weren't even on the first page and now they're number four, number five. High volume searches, junk removal Aurora went from position six to number one. We got a few of appliance removal going down a position. Uh, I don't know, that, that could just be a fluke. We'll keep tabs on that. Mattress disposal and hoarder clean out weren't even in the top 100, now they're 25 and 41. And again, this is just comparing to the last seven days. That's what we have it set to. And then if we look, and that's desktop view. So if we look at mobile, this looks even better. Junk removal is number two. That's the highest volume keyword. And then we've got these three that are all number one, junk removal company, number two, number three. A lot of these, again, not even on page one. And now it's top five. Oh, I guess that just means that appliance removal didn't move on that one. But yeah, so that's pretty impressive considering it wasn't even seven days ago that this was published. So I think I started recording these videos either last Sunday or Monday. Uh, in fact, I think it was Sunday because I started the video with an audit and explaining everything. And I believe that it had just ran the weekly check. So it was last set. Oh, was it last Saturday then? I don't remember. doesn't matter. But the point is, I don't think all of the pages were finished and published and requesting. And I don't think I requested indexing until Wednesday or maybe even Thursday. So I don't have the search console data to show you yet. There just hasn't been enough time. There's You're not gonna see anything significant in there. There's a day or two lag. So in the follow-up videos, I'll be sharing the actual Google search console volume change. The other thing that I'm gonna show you is the Google Maps list and we're gonna see if the ranking changes there. I'm gonna show you the difference in phone calls from before we did this to after we did to just show you everything. Now, again, I'm not doing any offsite SEO or anything offsite. This is all just swapping out the not so great human written content for nearly a hundred percent AI written content. I really think I only deleted stuff from the content. If I thought it was overusing a keyword or something, I like it used Aurora, Illinois a lot. Other than that, it's, all AI content. And just to reiterate, I'm not saying, I'm not suggesting that you just take 100% AI out output, but in order to do this test, I, I believe if you were going to generate the content and then a human were to modify the content, that isn't really a, a case study for whether or not AI content ranks on Google because people just go, oh, you change this and you change that. And so it's not really a good test. So I am just doing a hundred percent AI output. We use, we had it generate the headings. We had it generate the paragraph text. I don't remember if I had to do the page titles, but I think for a lot of them, I was taking, yeah. So like professional junk removal services in Aurora, Illinois, that's exactly the same as the H1. So I didn't ask it for the page title. I'm just taking the H1 and putting it as the page title because it works. Like, I, I don't know what you would say that's going to be a whole lot better than that for a page title. And then that, I think, is just... Oh, well, that is the H2. Oh, that's fine. That's the brand. But yeah, so I'll be sharing Google Search Console and some other updates in the coming week and weeks. And we'll see how this goes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be posting a bunch of audits. I just posted one the other day that's a full 48-minute on-site SEO audit. So you can check that stuff out. I'm going to be posting a bunch of other videos of similar content going over on-site SEO mostly and sharing some audits. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, subscribe and follow this playlist for updates. Thanks for watching.